Okay, guys, let's do it. So, what you do now? What you do now, actually? Ask you a question. Tell us. <laughs> okay, really? Okay. That's crazy. Okay. I want to touch uh, many of the things that you guys have learned so far from JavaScript, HTML, Git, everything. CSS. Yes. Thank you. So let's do it. Okay. And I want to go a little bit fast. So if you have anything, uh, any question, I will definitely ask a lot of questions, but stop me. Okay. Uh, and but ask smart question, not the you know, dumb questions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, good one. Who said that? Yeah, right. Okay. So, <clears throat> I want to create a repository first because I don't have any project set up yet. So, let's uh, help me. You guys always should help me and give me the guidelines for what should I do. Okay. So, then I can see you are interested, you are involved. So, we can make something together. And it's, we don't have that much time. So, I need your help. I am not expert. So, I always need your help. So I need to create a repository. What should I do? I have to click this one first, the yeah. plus sign. Repository. Yes, yes. And then your example was quite popular, the pizza thing. People are asking all the time. Man. So what should I call our uh, project? Pizza. Uh, what? Class Class, no, no. No. Hot creative? Yeah. Pizza hot. Hot creative pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I di I'm not that uh, prepared with the, you know, I didn't did his, his homework. So let's tweak it. I call it a restaurant, okay? Restaurant portal or something. So idea is like uh, we want to build a project where we can uh, uh, we go to a home, home page where we can fi uh, find different restaurants and then order our food, right? So we go to a page where it should be showing different restaurants mm -hmm. in the city. Mm -hmm. yeah. But unfortunately, it's not it's smart that it, you can search. It will show at some default restaurant. You can you can uh, go and order some f uh, food that you like. Okay, yeah, I like it, I like this one. But not that smart. And let's make it you know very simple. So. No, you don't. If you don't click on that better, then you I always have problems. If you did do this one, then it's much easier. Just, uh, just a note that you can write on it. Okay, okay. guys, okay, let's stick to this. Okay? And you can always go back to the YouTube video to see uh, you know, the process. Yeah. So, clone it here. And what should I do here, right? Git clone. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay? And I have to go to the project, right? Yeah. Follow this step because many of you having issues with the Git as well. Yeah. Download the project that don't know how to go inside. Okay, what should I do? Restaurant project, right? This way. So if it's saying this one, then it means that it's Git tracked. So you are in good state, right? Yeah. Okay. And I need I need my browser. But uh, where did you copy clone the thing from the folder from GitHub? Okay. Yeah. No. No, no. I asked you which place. Clone someone in your laptop, yeah? Yes, I cloned something okay. in my laptop, yes. Before that, you, you make the folder for that, yeah? Yes. Okay. So, as you can see, it, the project has only one file uh, readme file, right? Something. So, it's okay. And what do you need first? Uh, a few more files, right? Yes. yes. INDX, HTML, right? In opposite way. <laughs> and for a script? Java, I mean, main. CSS. JS. So the file start appearing here, right? Okay. And. You know, from, from Atom, there is directly a. <laughs> You can fetch directly from Atom without doing the JIT bash and everything. Yeah, it's fine. Don't uh, no, confuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I told you the project. What is the project? Restaurant. 
restaurant, restaurant portal, right? We want to see a page where we can display different uh, restaurants. So uh, I don't have that much time. I don't have to, uh, that skill to write the HTML code. I want to hack something, right? And you guys know the bootstrap, right? Very popular thing. Bootstrap? Who doesn't know the bootstrap? Okay, so if you write uh, some HTML uh, syntax and you also do uh, write uh, CSS, right? Why is CSS you writing it? Style. To give some style. And Bootstrap and there are some other um, project who gives you a basic style uh, out of the box, like built in. Yes? So, uh, for instance, if you define an uh, input box, label, uh, button, or something. Uh, like this one. So if you want to define a button in your HTML, what should you do? You should write some code, right? Uh, the border and the hover over color, all this kind of thing. So the bootstrap is a project, uh, CSS. If you uh, import the library, you can use their uh, styling. Yes. So it's very, you know, I'm convinced that you guys didn't know this one. So I need to invest a little bit more time on this one. Uh, let's do it. But uh, is it for commercial and private use both? Yes. Um, okay. Like if you are designing professional websites. Okay. Yeah, it's open. It's open source. Okay. Just an easy example, okay? Oh no. no. Copy. <coughs> Here, right? So I want to define a button, for instance. button submit right if I now refresh I think I need this one, right? So look at that. Oh, it's not visible, right? So this is the default button. You, you get it, right? So if I want to, uh, it does nothing. If I hover over that, it is not doing anything. So if I want to like uh, put some style, I should write what uh, CSS, CSS code in a separate file, right? And just for now, we can uh, write here style. This is also possible. Right? Sorry. Inside of the body. Yeah. Oh, you can, uh, let's check it in the, you know, uh, head. Okay. Like this way. Mm -hmm. Color. Blue, right? Or green, how do I write it? Green? Should I write green this way? Yeah. Yeah, I don't recommend you do uh, a color code name. You always use hex code. You know the hexadecimal code. Wait, is it better than the RGB? Sorry? The RGB Yeah, this one. Are you the RGB code? Yeah, I'm not going that much. You guys don't ask that much questions. CSS, it's not a CSS class. Just, you know. Yeah, so this one. Never write color code name, green, purple, because the color code uh, name varies from browser to browser. So you, if you see this green uh, in uh, Chrome and in um, uh, Firefox could be a different color, a little bit different. Okay, always use the hash code. Yeah, I think hash code is readable than RGB. Yeah, this one you can also define. It's 128 something like you don't remember. Yeah. Um, yes, see, it's happening. Mm -hmm. So I have to do, if I want to like hover or work, change color, I have to do a lot of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so we have a friend here who can help us. <coughs> I just defined this one, uh, the CSS file, right? Do you know how to import the CSS file yeah. from uh, CDN? Yeah. What is CDN? The, the Mozilla... 
So normally, if I want to write this CSS file, then I have to have a CSS file here, right? But somebody had a CSS file, I want to use his one from network. So there's a CDN. So somebody already written the file and then store it somewhere, I just can use it, this one, right? Call it on the hyperdrive. Yeah. Yes. So if I just, you know, uh, remove this uh, styling here. Can you put this, the link of this website in there? Like because yeah, I tried to go, but yeah, it doesn't work. You can uh, rewind by, you know, you can see the, uh, revisit the video. But I, I have some issue with this, like, see here. Look at this screen. So some issue with this, like, so I can actually do anything. Anyway. So I'm going to bootstrap and see the examples here. Uh, the documentation, maybe. Right? I said button. So this is the code to have the, you know, uh, the green one. Success, yes. So if I define the button this way. See? It's, it has some different uh, style now, right? So it, it's not uh, it's not green. Why is that? Yeah, it took the I took the secondary. It's not the success, right? It's the secondary success. I should close this one. Uh, here, right? See, now it's different, right? So. Also, to just impress you, impress you a little bit more, uh, <laughs> maybe header headings. Um, no, maybe level. I think level is a better. Idea. See, I didn't have to do anything. I just copy the HTML, and it, it has some different classes. And classes, the uh, design is de already defined in the CSS. in the CSS file, and it came coming from where? From uh, from Bootstrap, the right? Yeah. The Bootstrap is a library, so it's a library that uh, has uh, already defined st styling, all the you know way to you know um, you know implement the uh, design. So I don't want to do that much effort writing the CSS code. So I want to use this one, right? Okay, so here in the bootstrap, if you go there, you can see uh, examples. And in example, it's like a complete website. For instance, this one, album. If you go to there, so it's a website. See? So it has all the design and the structure and everything. If you go to, um, let's say, pricing thing. See, this is defined. Yeah. So everything you can like uh, do like this one using the CSS, CSS uh, library, okay? So for our need, let's let's use this one. Look at here. Uh, this one we can consider as a restaurant. Uh, one restaurant. One, two, three, four, five, six, like this, okay? And here probably we can just replace this text with the restaurant name. And put some uh, information here. Then it will looking start looking nice, much nicer, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how can I copy this one? Go to the. I don't know. You have uh, used uh, the copy function yet, but I want to show one more trick. Probably will surprise you if you don't don't know it before. <coughs> so I told you this inspect can do more thing for you, right? Yeah. So if you open this one inspect. Source. Uh, Source and yeah. his source is the one that give you all this thing, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, JS code. But I'm not interested in JS code. JS code will write our stuff. So if you go to elements, you can see this is the one that um, have the HTML code, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever you have to do, you have to go to the body. So body has everything, right? Mm -hmm. Right button, uh, edit HTML, copy all, copy. And then and replace the body in our HTML file. Okay, are you following? Yeah. 
yes and you should be very fast you should uh, help me if i'm doing any mistake okay i rely on you guys and look at that uh, it's here right and if i refresh this is the one my page boom everything is here okay what about the style that's that's good question right so style maybe having some issue because i imported this thing maybe let's let's remove it no. No, no, uh, you know, you, you copy the, the, the HTML. So the, 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 the I think if you go to the store and what in one of the folders you can find the. Sorry? <laughs> or, or you can go up and look at the. Uh, the head in the head, you will find the link to the HTML uh, to the CSS. Give me a second to put it here. Why is it coming? Yeah, what are you saying? No, go, go to the website. Mm -hmm. No, no, the... Here, the first. Now go up. Go up to the head. Yeah? Go up. Okay. Here you, you should find the link to the CSS. It says link, uh, hyperreference, allo.css. Okay. Yes, this one. No, the, the one, there, there, are two, there are many ones actually. Yeah, yeah. Because there is different kind of CSS in this. Mm. But if you copy, you will have it. <coughs> you, you can have different kind of CSS file. In the <laughs> CSS. Oh, okay. Sometimes people they are going to organize some part of the CSS. Mm -hmm. You have to start by now because you deleted the bootstrap library and you don't have this uh, CSS. I think bootstrap should be here in the bottom. Uh, in JS. Sorry, head. So I need to inject that on push right? Yeah, but yeah, I think they have extra style sheets. Mm -hmm. Apart from the boot Yeah. Let's go to home. And then uh, here, right? Okay, guys so it came back okay so basically I was missing the library that's, uh, that's the one anyway so what I did here you know so it's a plain uh, empty again right so I just need to do a copy the link for the CSS put it here and then, uh, as I showed you the example here, this one, I'm doing it again for you. Edit HTML. Yeah, just click on body and then comment, uh, just copy on body. And then copy. Yeah. I think it's, it's there, okay? Yes, let's start changing it, change it. So just to customize our page, it should be restaurant portal, right? Portal. 
So it's reflecting here. So meaning it's our home page, right? Yep. So let's remove first uh, the thing unnecessary thing for uh, you know uh, in this template. So it, it should be look very uh, clean and nice. I don't need this one. Uh, the top top menu. So how do I delete it? Header. Header, right? Header, uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe from. Uh, my ID is not that smart. Let's do it here. Header is gone, and I don't need the footer as well. So remove the footer, right? Footer is gone. So looking nice, and I don't remove, uh, need this two button here. Uh, this two button are here, right? And then let's change the example uh, applic uh, album example to something, right? To our Something like that, I don't know. Okay? Yes, and see here how many thumbnails we have. One, two, three, four, uh, nine, right? Let's remove uh, six, six of them, uh, three of them from bottom. Okay? I keep six. I keep six, okay? So removing it. You know what? I show, another, I show you another trick. Are you following us? Okay. So let's say I want to remove these three, right? So click this one, take this one, delete, okay? Delete. Save. Delete, right? So now, now I have this, right? Maybe I'm how many? Oh, I didn't delete this one. Thumbnail as well. So I should delete this one as well. Something here. Something here. Just. Okay, let's say I'm uh, happy with this uh, design. Okay, so what do you need to do? We copy the. We copy again. Uh, edit HTML. It's easy to copy. You uh, know, copy, and then replace the body again. Okay. See, it's empty, right? And replace the body. And if I refresh now, it should be here, right? Start looking nice. Let's edit more. For instance, uh, the first one, uh, this one, right? Uh, you see here from the top. Is it readable now? Yeah, the first contact. Okay, so just to see where we are. Yes, we are here, right? Just change it to something like say it's a, it's a pizza, okay? Yeah. Refresh, it's pizza. And the next one, come on, uh, it's fast. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Kebab. <laughs> a restaurant name, for okay. instance. Okay. Chicken masala. <laughs> it's a menu, man. <laughs> Let's say it's a Thai food. Tandoori. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know in the food. You know? Is there any Thai food name? Thai. Thai Thai. Same one, it's a restaurant name. Couscous, couscous. Italian. No, no, we are pizza, couscous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, different, 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 different. We already. We talk about See, Mexican. we have uh, these two, now yes, three. Uh, taco, taco. What is taco? It's the Mexican. Burger, 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 burger. Okay, and the next one? <laughs> what? How is it? Shoes. Shoes. How do you spell it? Sushi. Right? Yeah. And then what more? Happy meal. Mm. 
Hot wings. <laughs> okay, guys, you know what? I already decided the name before. Uh, <laughs> while you were on break, uh, the break, I downloaded some picture just to, you know, uh, put here. So it relates to the name. Okay? So now it started looking better, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe I can zoom out a bit here. So it's 100%. This is the 100% look, okay? Let's stick to that. It's looking nice. See? So now I replace with the picture, right? So what I should do? Go to my desktop. And put the picture here, okay? Okay. And look at that. Uh, start changing the picture. So what I have here. And you guys know how to uh, change picture, right? How? Guide me. So this is the one, the pizza one, right? And pizza one, you can see the thumbnail is here. It's is the image tag. Quickly, help me. Search. 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 SRC, not search. Source. Okay. Here. Search. 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 Okay. Yes. Oh, so yeah, totally. yeah, so what should be my file name here uh, is the the pizza pizza right? I already had uh, the Im imported the name JPG right? Let's see if it's reflecting. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> so and then the next one Indian hot Indian spicy. I have the name here. Okay. <laughs> that, that's why you tell that to go lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so let's so ch change it here. Choose right? the photos. Why did you ask to ask the names? Yeah, but I I told him it was good. He told me different, different. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, come on, guys, faster. Spicy here, right? And then this is the Thai one, and the image is here, right? I deleted more field here in the in the, in the Indian restaurant. I need the data filter here as well. So what should be this one? And this one? Burger. Burger. But uh, I think you made an... <laughs> yes, you're right. See? Why are you saying burger? And this one? Is he right? Nothing about something that is normal. And. Okay, so I managed to replace all of them, right? Let's see how does it look like. Oh, right? You convinced? It's yeah. looking better? Yep. See, we just did uh, in a couple of minutes the estimate and CSS part. It's gone, done. But, you know, I'm not that happy with this color. It doesn't look like a restaurant, right? Let's change it with some food color. And how do I get the color? Uh, You're doing something different? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's needed actually. Uh, to understand. So let's start changing the color. I all need your attention because we want to move faster. If you want to learn to finish the project, that we should be, you know, focus here. Okay. Okay. I want to change color here. Okay. Let's find the color. How to find the color? Let's say, you know, a palette. Palette. I, I use palette. Color code, something like that. You know, Google is your best friend, always. Um, something orange? I think you're right. The food color is orange, right? I'm not sure. Uh, do you want to use blue? So this one, right? Okay, and how do I have to change? In the, in the 
let's always uh, this is another uh, you know tips for you <coughs> open the inspect and 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 before you write go to the code and change and refresh it's tedious always come here this is the one right i want to change this zambo tron uh, something so what is it uh, background color right yeah. background hash this see how does it look like so you can have a look and feel and look and feel if you if you're satisfied then you go to the code and change it don't just go and change and refresh all time okay probably i'm not that satisfied with the color blue should be more it should be more lighter really no 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 no, no because this color is, is related to the image yeah it, you don't have to read the color because it's just you know if it's white that's why it's not showing this i'm thinking to lighter, i think lighter Later, right? Yeah. You're right. I think maybe this one. And still, it remembers the color, so I can just change it to this. For now, just stick to it. Okay. It's not the best. Maybe it, the text is not re that readable, but stick to it. Or maybe a little bit more. Yeah, more that, 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 I mean, Okay. So now, let's say I'm convinced. So what should I do? And should create a CSS file or just uh, write it here because uh, yeah I want to do it here because uh, we don't want to spend that much time right and what should I do I need this uh, the class right so before I forget the you know uh, the color code paste it here and then copy the name Jumbotron and this here, right? So now all I can do refresh, right? And see it's gone and color remains. So it's good, right? Yeah. Okay. But the color change right? Okay. Yeah, yeah I would change yeah. we choose a different color. Okay. So uh, what is it? Nine minutes here, right? Oh yeah, time. Let's change it to meaningful. What could be a meaningful thing? Uh, the pizza, right? Yeah, pizza. yeah I think nine minutes. Is... Wouldn't be nice that we indicate uh, this. Kilometer. How much distance is it from? Then we need the information that uh, where we are sitting. It just. Maybe we can say is it open or closed? Uh, yeah, that's it. Right. Let's change it to open, right? And then uh, next one is closed. Sorry. The restaurant. restaurant. <laughs> it's open and this is closed, right? Mm -hmm. It's, it's look nice. Don't we replace the old thing here? Open. Right? So here you can see this is the this is open, this is open, and this is open, and this is closed, and it's still nine minutes. You can write 10 a.m. or something like that. Open 10 a.m. No, we want to see the status. That's it. Uh, so we can see here. So that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, open 9, 10 a.m. That's a nice, good idea. Let's say here. Uh, view and edit, right? It doesn't make any good sense here. So we start changing them. So the first one, right? Pizza one. So here we can see. Uh, what is it? Uh, open. Opening hour, maybe. Opening. Hour, and let's say it's a view menu, uh, menu, for instance, right? Maybe it's more meaningful to this one, right? So we just can. What you can do? You don't have to copy paste uh, right all the time. Copy, or we can do it one more smart way. So if it's open, we don't need to see the opening hour, right? Doesn't mean make sense. Yeah, yeah. Just only a menu. The so only for the you know uh, here we can say. It, just the menu, right? May I ask a question, please? Yeah, um, you can do. When you, when you, if you, if you try to copy it and then paste it in other, 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 um, you know, other, uh, my cart, uh, it will not because it's a button, you know, and I don't know if uh, in the in the CSS has a link or something somewhere. You know, if you go over, it's a um, link hover, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we go somewhere else or something. Oh, how do you, how does it go to somewhere else? I mean, uh, like a link. How does it work? 
we always need to uh, define a link there, right? The reference. But in our code, uh, is yeah, there any reference? Yeah. It's a button. Button doesn't go to anywhere. Oh, okay. It's a link that does go, but button can have some action, but we didn't define any action yet, oh, right? Okay. Let's see. Uh, doesn't uh, matter how many times you click this link, okay? So refresh. See here, it's a menu, and then it's the opening hour, right? Yeah. So if it's closed, then we should opening hour, right? So it's open, then it's only the menu, right? We replace the one with the close one first. Where is close? Here, right? Here, right? And this is the op uh, which is open. We just show the you know menu link. Is it good now? No. See, without doing it that much effort, the site is ready. Yeah. So what should we do? More. Let's put some uh, uh, visibility. For instance, this open, right? Uh, if it's open, probably it should. Sorry. That it's a bit complex because I want to, you know, uh, combine some uh, JavaScript as well, like declaring a variable, uh, object, function, loop, whatever we have learned. But direction thing could be map includes, right? So it will be complex. So. Like, you want to create the JavaScript on the second one? Yes. Know. So maybe the form, you order. Yeah, maybe it's open, then order, right? Okay, that's a nice idea. So I think <coughs> you're right. So, for instance, this is first one is open order. Maybe after this one menu. Okay. So we are not changing here. Let's change later. Okay. So one more uh, small thing I want to do, uh, if you go to the smart website, that if it's open, then it shows some light, yeah. green light, right? It's open and dark for closed, because I want to do some more experiment with the CSS. So who can help? For instance, Strong. if it's a, if it's the, no, 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 not oh, this yeah. one, uh, I'll, a dot here, dot with the green light. Please. So basically, see here, uh, I, it's open here, right? This is the open, right? I want to do it here. So let's say if I uh, say dot, it's coming here. So instead of this dot, probably I want to show uh, a dot like an image. Take decoration. Yes, let's do it circle. So what do we need? We need some uh, placeholder, right, to write the code. Uh, we can define a span again. Span. Oh, okay, now you can go to CSS and make a yeah. circle. So we can say it's a, uh, what do you say? Circle. Status. Oh, circle. Or what is it? Status is good. It could be not be a circle. You have status yeah. and it could be a triangle. If yeah. you want to later yeah. make it a triangle and your class is called circle, it's weird. I but think status you can make it triangle, circle. It makes so status really better. Anyway. So how do you make it? Take decoration. Yeah. So, uh, first you have to make a box and then you have to make, make a paper animation. border. No, I thought I thought. <laughs> For example, with two hundred. For example, 10, uh, 10, 10 pixels and uh, height 10 pixels, then make the border 50%. You will have a figure. So you want to make a dot close to open? You specify, you specify That's what you want to do? And then you, you make a radius, like a border it's radius. A way people like something like that, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's a dot, okay, fine. Yeah. And Exactly, like this. Copy the yeah. <laughs> Who said that? Nadia said that, right? This <laughs> program is about copying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Oh, so it's the, the same? I can make it smaller yeah. with... 10 pixels, you know. 10? Let's see, it's 20. So as I said, don't do it here and then try, you always try the console, uh, sorry, inspect and adjust, okay. Change the color to what? Green. Yeah, green. I told you, don't use green, right? Uh, I think you actually have a tool there for color. Go back. Go back, go back. Yeah. Okay, anyway, guys, it's not that uh, <laughs> complex. That box with the color it's not complex. That, like, let's let's the check check this one here, right? No. The many no, millions no. way you can copy paste. The dark at the bottom. Let's see. Right? Um, and close the dot and, red. Uh, dot red? Yeah. On close. On close. Status. So. Where is it? Uh, status right here. So open, open and then we go to this uh, to to close right uh, here right. After. Change the class. After. No, before. Yeah. before. Right. Mm -hmm. Change the class right. Uh, Start with alt. Start with on. Make ten. Um. Yeah, right. Let, I'm just putting every error first. Uh, I have an idea. Yes. Can I suggest yes. Um, as a person, I'm colorblind. I don't see red and green. Yes. So how about we, we reverse the colors and close the press? So for example, make the background uh, black and then the, uh, the text white. So it's closed. Oh, one more time. Okay. Instead of putting circles beside everything, yeah. the opened one are white, white with the text is black. Yeah. And then the closed one, the background is black and the text is white. I think it's a much uh, good idea. So for, we can also even more uh, make the restaurant image gray out, yeah. so it's like closed something. You can do that. But uh, we don't have that much time. But if you uh, have really issue with that, so we yeah, can change the color. Like color. Yeah, I told the color like, blue because I can see it. Yeah, but now you can see this green or not? No, no, it's, it's fine. No, 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 we can change, we can change. It's green or not, it's just like one color, both green, red, and brown, they're just one color. What do you can see here? Either green, red, or brown. They're all one color to me, they're all united and under one color. No, I what I should change, it's just I'm asking for a suggestion. No, it's fine, you can keep it. We can keep it? Okay, okay. Just then, or probably you can just come a bit closer, maybe? No, it's not, I can't see it. Okay. Oh, you cannot say, okay, so which color is it? Okay, that's okay. Just stick to, uh, to this one for now. Yeah. My main intention actually, uh, this is a JavaScript module. I want to do some JavaScript, but I need some HTML because uh, it, it will give you a confidence that I can, uh, you write some code in JavaScript and then that can talk to HTML, HTML CSS. That's much, you know, refreshing. <laughs> that's why. Okay. So, see? I do, did something stupid, right? Everything is uh, open. No, I see a problem. No, you, see you, see, you see the first open? Hmm? There is a space between the top and the open. And the, oh, that's yeah, the that's right. Let's give the space. I think in space, I like this. Ah, space, okay. Maybe. So it wasn't the space. Okay. Okay. So space. Okay. You need to change the color for close. Okay. I need to change the color for uh, close as well, right? Um. Yeah, how do I change it? Status off. Hmm? Status off and make it red, red instead for the clothes. No, no. I mean, can't, can't you make that? Why did you, 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 you can get make them it in the JavaScript as well? Then the, yeah, the, JavaScript the, yeah, the yeah. key is closed, the color will, will change. Mm. Uh, yeah, let's do it. You're right. Let's do it this way. So now what do you need? Our tool, right? And the JavaScript file. Okay. Let's do the JavaScript then. You can, uh, but first you have to give the ID to the... I think ID is best idea. Let's do it ID because then I have to find which class and how many ch children and all these things. So let's change the cl uh, closed one. So this one, for instance, right? 
so uh, what I need to change here uh, I need to do something here right um, Can you change the ID oh, okay. ID uh, what do you call it oh. status close right yeah. for instance and which one is that if I uh, start giving the ID to uh, I cannot give the same ID to every everyone right so let's say it, this is the uh, in the Indian spicy. So it's the second one, right? But you have to give it in the class. Okay. Don't, don't stick to ID. So this is the first restaurant. Assume there is a first restaurant, second one, third one, fourth one, right? This way. So this is the one and second. So I can say uh, change ID to this one. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Two re number two restaurant. Yeah. Just stick to that. Okay. Okay. You don't have to be that analytical at the moment. Uh, just to, you know. And I just go to this one, copy, and what should I do? I need to change the color, right? Yeah, okay. if, just, first you have to get the information yes. from the button. Let's just uh, declare a variable to just store it, okay? Uh, for instance, uh, let, uh, what is it? So, status closed to button, for instance, or HTML, maybe, for instance, or dot, whatever, right? Or just keep it like that. Um, what's the code? We tried last time and we failed to do it. Uh, document dot uh, get element by ID, right? And what is the ID? ID is this, right? And then I can say this is the one dot. Um, How do you change the color? I think let's do it this way, a bit smarter way, for instance. You know, because you can you can access the HTML by Java. Mm. So if uh, if you go to the Java No, don't go there to Java yet. Let us two, for instance. So I'm just trying to read the whole thing, okay? And then I can say this one. So status two. Yeah. If you just write here document dot element by ID yeah. and give the uh, ID here, then you will write here function. Okay? After the the function uh, you will put the new code in the function. Okay, we'll try later. I have something in my mind. Let, let me uh, uh, no, uh, do some guinea pig test with this one. So, I hope, for instance, for, uh, I'm just replacing the everything. Uh, and define two colors. What about that clear? Uh, Status. So define two uh, two you know uh, things closed. What is gray? Three three maybe. Oh yeah, that's true. See, I made a mistake here. Can anyone help me? Yeah, who can help me? 
So okay. I write some code, but it's not reflecting. I don't see anything here happening. You're not linking. I didn't link, guys. You should. I told you. If I make mistake, you just always need to help me. But you're not. You're not doing it. <laughs> Let's add in the in, in the bottom. Okay. I prefer to do it here. Don't uh, stay silent, okay? If I do mistake, always correct me. Oh, see, it's changing. No, but yeah. it doesn't make yeah, sense to you. Could you go to the main? Yeah, it's changing color. Closed. Yes. Can you show us the code that you wrote? So what I did, I assigned the ID here. For instance, the closed one, right? Uh, closed one here. So assign the status here, and then I'm just replacing the everything inside the uh, element. Uh, let's do it here as well in the status one, for instance. Status one, right? No matter what is open or closed, we, we can uh, close it. Status one, friends. Oh, sorry. Uh, two, one here, one here, one here. Okay. So I expect it should be closed as well, right? It's closed. Yeah. Enough. So I think we are good for uh, doing writing some ex uh, JavaScript code now. So everything. Can you explain a little bit more about the, uh, the, the JavaScript that you wrote? Okay, okay. So here, basically, what I did here, I assigned an ID to an any element. So look at it. Which element uh, has the ID? This small, right? And small has the ID. And small has what inside? If I break down here, small has one span with status and one text. So. I'm just reading it and I'm saying uh, read the status one, the ID, and inner HTML. So it is saying inner HTML, so meaning that uh, if I write some HTML here, it will replace uh, everything by this text. If I write uh, something, something like this one, it will change. I need to save it. Yes. So see, it's changing. So what? no matter what, it's changing everything, replacing by this one. So you can also experiment this way again, maybe. Uh, just put the ID, maybe the status one here. Cut, and then put maybe here, body. Look at that, it's just replacing. Okay? So I'm just uh, saying that in HTML, just replace everything by this. Okay? And for our case, it is this one. I'm just replacing the whole uh, element. It's fine. Oh, more question? No, because you didn't uh, teach the document that. Okay. Now. Yeah, we didn't teach yet. So it's the way that you can uh, document is the DOM uh, object. Mm -hmm. So this is the library that give you. Uh, access to the uh, DOM here. So everything is a, is a document, right? Document object module. So everything in HTML. So uh, it, it reads for you the JavaScript function, uh, the object, it, and you can access with using this object. And these are the methods. These are the functions. If you call this one and this one, and it gives you in return, assume it's a, uh, it's a function, it's return you to this one uh, variable, and you are just, just, just doing some changes. If you write this, status to dot uh, inner HTML, it's an object or method to this one. If you assign some value and then document, just change everything in in, in here. Okay, so what, why, why, uh, why do you need a variable for that? Because if you didn't have a variable, you could change uh, the code mm -hmm. anyway. You, you can also do this way as well. Uh, for instance, Yes, exactly. It, it will do the same. Okay. 
Okay, I need it because uh, probably I will be experimenting something with the JavaScript. That's why I just assign it to variable. So it does the same thing for you. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's uh, let's keep to this one. So <clears throat> now we can try with the experimenting our uh, topics that we learned. Uh, function, object, all this thing. So before we do anything, we can just uh, try uh, defining some objects. Let's assume that this one restaurant is one object, okay? And second one is another object, all we have objects, right? So object can contain any type of uh, information, right? So for us, uh, let's say the restaurant one, right? So what should I call it? Let or variable restaurant, res restaurant one right how to defend the object quickly uh, this one right yeah. yeah and then uh, what this object has pizza. Pizza. let's say it, it has a name right yeah. name uh, what is the name pizza, pizza right and then uh, what it has menu, yeah, menu. menu. You can write a different pizza name, but we don't have that much time to, you know, uh, uh, to write it. So, and then we can say uh, order. Yeah, all prices. Price is the thing, but order is not the thing. But uh, it's a restaurant. I don't think we are selling the restaurant. So, let's not add price object here, uh, property. But we can do here one thing. This is status, right? We can say it's open or not, right? What should I call the object property? Status. Status, right? Status, but it would be uh, status is like what open, right? Or, 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 or uh, yes, or we could say even more explicitly say you can say here like this is open, you can is open, right? So, in that case, you can replace it by boolean true. value. Yeah, that's what I want to ask uh, if you can we can do is open true or yeah. close for okay, like this. Is open true. For instance, in our case, it is true. The restaurant one is open. Okay? So now I want to, uh, you know, let's say our restaurant is closed here. It's saying closed. And then here is the. Closed. Just comment these two lines. At least comment the next one. Wait and eat. See here, it is saying close, right? And we just define the restaurant object as in, in JavaScript is open, right? So uh, just assume that this object is uh, con uh, static or constant here, but uh, we will be uh, getting this object from API, from different source, database, or something. So it's coming from somewhere, right? And the status is, uh, it is here in saying closed, but with the time, probably it's not uh, open. For instance, uh, it's open now. For instance, uh, we can say um, open from uh, 12, close 22, right? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> now what time is it? It's 2, right? So it should be open, but it's saying closed. How can I make it uh, open? Mm -hmm. So I just need to some uh, change this, uh, you know? Yeah. This text with if, the uh, with JavaScript. If, uh, open, uh, if uh, what get time. No. this this one? Let's say open. Uh, uh, not go to time. I already have the status right. Okay. Is open. So we we'll check with that one. So if is open, right? Yeah. Right. So um, is open. Uh, do this. Do this thing for me. Yeah. Yeah. Copy. Sorry. Copy. And then, uh, yeah, right? Uh, open. Yes. Open, and then Strata should be. You can change the better name, okay? To better name. It's not changing anything. Let's see what is happening. Console. See, there are some problem here. Is open is not defined. You all forget to use the object. How, how this variable understand what time it is? 
that you have to give information to. What? You know how this code will understand what time it is. Yeah, that's we are not going there. Okay. Let's assume that. Uh, yeah, we can also get the time from the JavaScript uh, library. Yeah. You can say, okay, what time is there now? What date is today? Everything you can get from JavaScript library. You can vary that definitely. So we are not going to see this one, but that's why we have a one property called is open. It's it's saying true <coughs> means it's open. Just rely on that. So if it's open, then there's no error, and it's see, it's working. But for this one, we can say we can define the object uh, restaurants uh, second true. restaurant. Right? Second restaurant to what? Indian spicy uh, menu, probably. Yeah, just some creepy word. Okay. Uh, let's say it's closed now, so it will open at uh, this time, right? And just we are just uh, without doing any uh, calculation, we're just saying false. Okay. So how do I uh, change the you know status here? Should be. Uh, Closed and the uh, gray, not the uh, green so one. You call it the if, um, if, open. if restaurant should be two, right? Yeah, sure. Two, restaurant two is it's open, good. false, and status should be what? True. Uh, uh, closed. Uh, restaurant yeah. two, the status, uh, sorry, Indian spicy here, two, right? ID is there. So we can change the ID to two and then closed. closed. Closed, right? And then here it's closed, right? The class. Okay. Oh, really? But I don't know why you are writing. No, 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 no. no. Uh, it was uh, slash two, I think. Hmm? The class it was slash two. Class? Yeah, status closed. It was for the open one. You didn't change it. No, here is this one. It, it changed you the first uh, element. It doesn't change you the second restaurant. It's because the oh yeah yeah exactly I just you know copy paste and then yeah, right. I think you're right. Let's just fix the first one first. So if I say it's true, right? And if I say it's false, what is doing? Stay like this. It's closed. It's closed now. If I say true, it's open. Is it good? <laughs> okay. But we want to fix the next one, right? Restaurant 2 and the restaurant 2 is open, it is false, and then we are going there and changing it. But, yeah. yeah, it is closed, it is. but, it's but the color is color gray. Changing. But probably you didn't change it. Let's, it let's change to some uh, text if it's reflecting. Excuse no, yeah, it's uh, because, yes, uh, you don't need to change the inner HTML. You just, you know, you have two kind of CSS here for mm -hmm. button. Yes, one is open and one is closed. You can just mention the the closed CSS. Okay. Um, I got you. What you're saying. The span two. has you, you status can closed. You change the CSS. You don't need to change the. The class is same. The status. You see, it's That's status. Why, yeah, it's just status. You see, you didn't change it here. Yeah. In the in the in the Indian uh, in the Indian space, you didn't change it. it I didn't change it. Yeah, you see, class status in the span. It's not status closed. Yeah. Should be closed. No, it doesn't okay. matter. It doesn't matter. I'm just thinking. You don't need to to, you see? to have change. two different kind of open yeah, and close. Yeah. Are you agree? Yeah, yeah, you're correct. Yeah. 
you know, you just need one status and two kind of CSS class. Mm. And then you, are me- you, you, you just need to change the CSS, not the HTML. So we just want... That's true, I know. It's possible there, that way as well. Yeah. That's your right. But sometimes if you want to uh, change the text as well, so you need to uh, find the, uh, change the class, change the text, both places. You understand what I mean? No, I cannot understand because, you know, because now you are, every time you need to change the HTML. Mm. But the purpose of JavaScript is not to change the HTML. Just uh, make something different, you know, make a function in the Java. <laughs> just uh, look at it here. And, uh, just look at it. If you, you just cannot, you cannot one take. specific status, you don't need to have a close or open. Mm. You just need to want to have a status. And then you will go to the class and you will have two kind of uh, CSS class. Then in the JavaScript, you will tell the code that if it opens, use the first one. If it closed, use the second one. I know. I got you. Yes. That can be done that way as well. But now fix something here. I Let's say I want to replace this text, right? Okay. So I just want to see why it's not replacing. Let's fix this one first. So this one, Indian spicy, I want to change the text the here, right? Change, 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 oh, four, change to three. three. No, Make I just said true. it just should be, sorry? Make it true, it open true. All oh, right, you're right. Because so. if uh, um, access only true... If it's false, it's not going there, right? No. So, you're right, you're a smart man. That's good. <laughs> so let's make a else condition here. Else. So here it's, uh, if it's open, then it should be say, it should open. And then status is this, right? I think I should na- uh, no change the, uh, the uh, no 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 it should the be it, it should open right and it's meaningful. Yeah. Okay, closed. So if it's open, then it's status open right. It's closed. It's closed. That's it. And then I need to change here as well. So if I change the it's. It should be open now. It's working. That's good. Let's stick to this one. I will get back to you that you mentioned. Yeah, that's possible. Very much possible. That's the way also as well. But but what you are observing here? Can I just uh, write the sec- uh, third uh, restaurant? So if I start writing third restaurant, what should I do? If I want to uh, do the same thing for this one, Thai, res- Thai restaurant, what should I do? Oh, I have to declare this variable, yeah. do all this thing, right? Yeah. But we also know this array, right? Yeah. So what if, like, if I can uh, combine then all of the uh, restaurant in one area of object, mm-hmm. then I don't have to declare restaurant one, restaurant two all the time, yeah. right? Let's just refactor it. So for instance, I uh, just m- uh, declare here, let, uh, restaurants, restaurants, restaurants. Okay. okay, and then it's an array, right? Sorry, a- array, right? And array, it should have one restaurant, right? So this restaurant one, it goes here, right? Comma, and then restaurant second, where is it? It's here. Copy. But, but you, you cannot uh, just mention the uh, the the name of restaurant two. No, you just have to call now. You have just to call the index. Yeah. So now I don't have to call variable one, two, three, four, and hundred. That's not you know the way. That you if you want to change all the time, it's a hectic for you, right? So it, we are using a smart data type called array. Okay. We are storing it here, right? So now if I want to execute this one, it will fail because restaurant one doesn't exist, right? So how do I access this one? Restaurants. Restaurant. Restaurants and is open doesn't exist because it's now array, right? Mm-hmm. And how should I do this one? Before, before the oh, yeah. Zero, right? And array start with the zero index, mm-hmm. right? If you don't agree, please uh, tell me, okay? And 
split second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, yes. And then we also do the same. We do the same thing for status. You know, in the restaurant one as well. Else condition. Status one. Yes. And then we should do the same thing here for this one. 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 Does it make sense? One. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we refresh. And it's open. All everything is open. Why is that? Because both are open, right? Now we can close the first one, right? It's closed. We can close the second one as well, just to see if it's our code is working, right? Working fine, right? Let's put one more restaurant here, or I could say put all of them. Now see, start looking, you know, uh, something not readable, right? Yeah. So what we can do, we can put ID here, just to, you know, uh, just to identify our object easily. Three. ID, four, right? No, three. Three, uh, three right? Four. Just adding another property, that's it, just to quickly identify. So now we need one more, right? Number comma. number six. In the end, comma is okay. It's fine. Okay, comma is zero. You are talking about uh, this one. Uh, sorry. Just to see if it's our code is working. Okay, so we can console. dot log and then what you can do restaurants right you see all the restaurants are uh, you know, coming here and probably our code will work yeah definitely let's see inspect console refresh six restaurant see first one is pizza and then everything is Indian spicy now I start changing it right so it should be proper So second one is okay, right? The third one. Third one. Like this. And the fourth one is? Is it boring? You guys are silent. Now it's maybe it's look much better, right? Yeah. So it's now uh, identifiable, right? Probably the timing is all, all everything is same. Probably you can just change it. Something like this. Okay. Fine. So now what if if I want to do a change status? Uh, let's say change the status as well. So the first one is open, maybe. Uh, True, right? And this is false, this is false, fine. And I open the, this one. Op, open. True. Oh, sorry. <laughs> True, right? And then also open this one. Mm. Okay. And then the six is false. Now, how can I change uh, the all the status here? It should reflect like the way we just you know identified. Open and uh, closed. See, we have no object, right? Yeah. And then how can I uh, change the uh, status of the restaurant using the JavaScript code? Give them the ID. Yeah, first the ID. I think you're right. First we provide the ID to just locate the you know element here. So the pizza one is the one file. ID is one. 
add these two and then we can copy the one this one pi right there right add these three if anyone confused please ask the question here um, okay, yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Because you know when when we use ID, mm -hmm. uh, ID is just unique, you know. Yeah. But why you didn't give the class to them? It's easy to uh, identify. It's just easy. That's it. Nothing else. We just need in this case. We just need two classes. Yeah. One is open. One is closed. Mm -hmm. And the ID is for all of them. You know. Uh, every 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 element has to have its own ID. I actually have a purpose in my mind, so you just will know in 10 minutes, okay? But those are unique anyway, they have different yeah. numbers. So now I have the ID, so how, how can I change, like, so let's say the last one, right? Mm -hmm. So last one, for instance, let's check this one, uh, we just copy this one, so it, this is the one like, uh, second restaurant, right? Second rest. So I want to change for number sixth, right? And then should I need the ID, right? Six, six, that's it. Oh, and here, right? And what is the uh, index? Five, right? Sorry. See, now it's, it's coming closed, right? And then we can just quickly verify this one with the op let's all, uh, true, right? It's open, right? Good. Now it's working. False. That's fine. So if I want to do for uh, all of them, probably it's, it's easy. I just copy paste, right? And change the ID. If it's 100, mm -hmm. then look at our uh, code. It starts uh, getting, right? If I want to do for uh, remaining three. It's getting longer. So 100 of one line of code, right? Eight line of code. So we can do it smarter way, right? It's all repeated code. We can make a function. We can make a function, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. or, or we can make a, a loop and every time we have to check it. Yeah, check, check let's it make the function first. I think it's best idea. It goes because we just learned the function and the object. We use the object now and we do the function, okay? Excuse me, so if you make the function, you won't need the info can to call the true. I don't know, let's yes. try the function. Uh, just yeah. stick with that. Check, check the time. Implement with function I told you that uh, if it's a repeated of code we just uh, need a function that can uh, you know uh, optimize uh, this thing we can just club them into one so what I need the function what is the keyword function and I can say uh, what should I call the function name show status yes it's showing actually yeah. status right uh, and then the syntax is this one right and if I do this one I just need to copy this uh, logic I we built here copy I'm not deleting yet we'll delete later on okay let's say I just you know commenting them until it's ready so we can see the difference yeah okay so if I do this one and then I call the restaurant uh, sorry the function what will what will it will do which, which one? Uh, the, uh, the first one you, the, you declared the first one because it's the status one yes yeah, so the first one is doing, right? It's not doing anything else, right? Yeah. Okay. So if, uh, for the uh, first, first one, so maybe how can I, uh, I differentiate the first one, second one? So here I want to change again, right? Amira? Yeah. What should I, do? if I want to do for a second one, just to reflect, uh, second one is what? It's, it's, it's closed. Let's uh, check the fourth one, right? Mm -hmm. This one, fourth one. Burger mail. Uh, Should be closed. It's open. I want to see a difference. Uh, let's say, let's say third one is saying open. It should show what? Closed, right? Mm -hmm. The third one. So for the, doing this one, we should do uh, two, right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. At index. Mm -hmm. And it's not doing or what? Some error. This one is should be the second. Should, should be, be false. So you, you should false. Be closed. Close, right? Is and it's not changing. Oh, because see here. 
uh, this status, is, uh, for instance, I can say the status is not maybe this one. I just, you know, maybe ID. Let ID. Okay, ID equal to one, right? Now I can say here is ID. Okay, and and here as well, same thing. So I'm just replacing the number one with the variable, nothing but. But you can one. do, you can do, you can do um, in the in the in the in the parameter, right? ID, and then when you call it, just to change ID. Yeah, number. I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> just you know, step by step. So I'm just replacing the uh, constant part with ID, right? One place. If I change here, ID. If I now want to go to num number three, right? What should I call number three? And it should reflect here. See, yeah. it's closed now, right? And if I want to uh, open the restaurant here, how do I do it? True, right? I want to see that my code is working uh, perfect. See, it's open, right? So in the beginning, when we are learning the uh, this show me show messages, and then uh, we were changing the names, right? Uh, with John to Amira this way, right? And how do you overcome this one? Just to uh, you know, do it programming pro uh, programmatically. Again. So, if you look at the uh, first uh, you know uh, example we had, show messages. We are saying hello John, hello Amira, all these things. So no matter what, how many times we just you know uh, print differently, it just shows the same thing. Yeah. And only one way we can change here, right? Yeah. And how can I change, uh, you know, not here in the uh, function? You change, you, you, you add the parameter. Add the parameter, right? Yeah. So this is the way. So I uh, pass something in the function, then it's it takes it, right? So for the show uh, status for the first one, let's say 1 and 2 uh, and 3. Status for restaurant 1, okay? 2 and 3. So I need to receive it here, right? So I can say ID. Yeah. So if I'm declaring here, I don't have to declare here, right? It's already there. Okay. But so, it, and it will use the ID of the of, uh, of the array, yes? Inside of the array. You give the ID to every restaurant. Mm -hmm. mm. No, no, no. No. It will just I'm just referring the uh, you know here and then I just replace it here. ID. Okay. But you have to declare ID because it will not give you uh, ID that is not declared. You should do let ID and no, this chemical. This is the properties of the function. Let's make it very simple. I'm just trying to explain step by step, not everything at one time. So let's say the show status for restaurant one, yeah. show status for restaurant two and three. And then how do you change the status? Because we have a declared a class here, right? In DOM. And you just if we can somehow magically we can change this status to the one we expect, then it's fine. So here, how do I read this status? I'm reading by get element by ID, and I already have received the ID. So now, if I say show status uh, this one, right? Just ID. Just to even make it you know more work out for you. Don't change it now. Okay. So it will read the st uh, status one and change something, right? And it will read the status one and change something if it's uh, true or false. And for the second one, it will do the same thing, right? Yeah. yeah. But see, what is the problem here? I'm just uh, looking at it uh, number uh, uh, one, two, and three because we said show one, two, and three, right? Everything is. Open. Why is that? True. Uh, they should be true. Because I am trying to change the status for one and two and three. It's changed. It. It's changed. Mm -hmm. But it's not changing the echo, uh, the expected way. Like uh, reading from the object and changing it. Right? It's changing static thing. See here, our restaurant one is open, two is closed, and three is open. But it's it says open everything. It's because in our code, see. We are calling the status, but we are not uh, reading from all the restaurants. We are reading from the static one. Yeah, all time, the, the uh, uh, third one, right? So if I change with ID, right? Then it should read, right? So it give you open, close, 
Why is that? Because the first one is true. But here we are trying to read the index, right? And index start from zero. zero. Oh yeah, yeah. So you have to. So two. what we should do? Minus one. Minus one. one. That was the problem. You see that? Let's make sense. The homework on the homework. What is this? That was the problem. I have this related to the other restaurant. Okay, let's say uh, not ID. Uh, uh, no, what should, What do you call this one? I, I, I don't know. It's a restaurant, right? Yeah. Restaurant number one, two, and three. Okay. Right? So how do what's what's the better name for you? If I say restaurant number one, then for the second one, what the name you can prefer for me? I mean, let's just answer on. the question first. So he says, what is ID? Yeah. ID is just in the top, he says, there's, for every object, they have a property called ID. No, 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 no. actually, this isn't true. But, but that's but confusing here. That's confusing yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm just calling it ID because I'm just passing the value value here, and then I'm putting it here. Let's not call ID, something called different. Okay. And so, give me the better name. Okay. It doesn't matter because now I understand. <laughs> but, but I want to know how, how it's related to those because... Yeah, it's, it's not right now. It's a coincidence. A better way would maybe to give the restaurant to the status and then... Restaurant ID. I think this is a better name for this one. Okay. Now is it okay for you? Is calling the restaurant ID? Let's say it's the restaurant ID. Okay. Yes. Now here, I'm just uh, telling my code. Okay. Show the status for restaurant number one. Right. Still doesn't make sense for you, or what? You know, if if you go, uh, yes, I, I can understand this code clearly, mm -hmm. but I don't know how this code is take information from those. You see here, see, if for the first one, first line show messages, I'm passing one, and this variable is one now, right? Yes. And when I come here, then restaurant is an array of object. Okay. So I try to read only one object, which is what? The first one. Okay. Uh, I w if I say one, then I want to read which one? Zero. Zero one, right? And how do I make zero? Zero it's minus one. So, sorry. One minus one, minus one zero. Yeah. And if I say the, I want to read the uh, second restaurant. So here, whatever I say, it's always less than one, minus one with the array of object, right? It's, all, it's the array concept. Array always starts with zero. That's a, that's the problem. Because that, that, that asking you to show the, the ID, okay? But when you look at the ID, the, you know, the object are in, had an array. So the array is starting from I zero. I understand that because you cannot uh, get access to that ID. I still don't understand. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I think, yeah, we can make it even more smarter. Let's not call it ID. Okay, call it restaurant. Okay, call it restaurant, right? So we will pass the restaurant here. So for the restaurant one, what I need? Zero, right? Yes. For the restaurant uh, two, sorry, one, right? For the restaurant three, I need two. So what I'm passing here in this uh, method function, passing an object, not an element. Earlier I was passing one, two, three, four, and the value, right? Now I'm passing the whole object. Okay. So this show message will receive an object. And now I call it because it's object, it's meaningful. I call it restaurant, right? And restaurant, right? And then I don't have to do this one. Check again, restaurant. So I can say restaurant has what? Of the blog. I can see what is my restaurant is giving me here. Yeah. Okay. 
see it will work magically i don't know you understand the code or not Uh, restaurant is not defined. No. Restaurant ID now. It's not the, yeah. Not, uh, yeah. Let's fix it because see here. Now, see what is our console, uh, the first console saying. It, it is giving an error in this line. Before it gives the error, it's printing the uh, restaurant. So I'm passing a restaurant here in the show messages and I, uh, I'm uh, printing the console, right? Restaurant, restaurant. So restaurant has, has everything, right? Restaurant has, has uh, closed, is open, menu, name and everything, right? Restaurant ID. So how can I correlate the restaurant for this one with the status? So I have this restaurant. I, let's uh, say I only have one restaurant now, right? Which restaurant ID is? Uh, name is pizza, right? This one. This first one, right? First one. Or maybe to make it more fun, let's say it's the fourth one. Refresh. Which restaurant I have? Still pizza or what? Sorry, sorry, sorry. And to make... Uh, do this one for... So which restaurant I have? Sushi, right? Mm -hmm. So Sushi is where? Here. In here, right? And what is the ID for Sushi here? To change this status? I can just come here and see the status is 5, right? And what is my object is saying? It also has ID called 5. I can also get the name uh, from there, right? the number, right? So just to fix it. I need a ID, right? I need to read uh, uh, read the proper one. I can do what? I can write five here. It, it will magically work, right? Because static. But it's not always. If I uh, send a different one, then it will always, always change the ID for five. But if I want to make it dynamic, right? Yeah. So I can also write the, read the number from restaurant. Mm -hmm. Restaurant dot. What is it? Restaurant ID. Yeah. Right? Restaurant ID. Restaurant dot restaurant ID. okay so if I uh, now what is the status for here uh, uh, true right so sushi is closed let's see if it's working for us it's open see and now we can uh, go back to one zero one two three and see if it's working accordingly so see here uh, first one is open, open. Uh, close open open close open now we can just you know see if it's uh, working third one should be close. the Thai delicious should be closed now it's closed see now if I want to do for the other three now it's okay right? I can delete the code right the uh, excuse me but uh, you know you, you could use the then properties of the Let's not, not go there. Sit, sit, sit. Yes, 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 I know, I know. So now, what I have to do for the uh, remaining three, I have to, I have to do this way, right? Three, four, five. So what we just did, we removed a lot of codes because it's similar code, redundant code. We, uh, we make them into a function, right? So here I can see also redundant code. Now I can also club them into one, right? So what should I do now? Say it again. We just remove a bunch of code here, right? Yeah. You have seen that the commented code. Why we did uh, delete it? Because this piece of uh, function can, uh, you know, work for all of the code, right? Yeah. So we just remove the all the uh, hundred lines of code with a single function, right? Yeah. So now we have repeated code. And here you can see here 71 to 76 is also a repeated code. Just one small change here. Mm -hmm. So we can also re remove the repeated code by a function. Mm -hmm. We just did. Yeah. And for this case, what do we do? What, what we can, how can we remove the redundancy code? Did you have an idea? I think I will 
How do you make this? Uh, so you, you're he's writing the same thing three times here. Can you six times? Six, six times. How can so I? You just write the the number and you get the information. Yes, you want like that? I want to see. Want now to my everything is working, right? My yeah. see, my all the restaurants are open and closed, right? Yeah. So here, the he, you can see here. Here is a pattern. A number from seventy one to seventy six. Show show status, show status, show status, show status. How many times here? Six times. Okay. And I'm just repeating all six times. If I have less hundred restaurants. That land. That land. That land. No, you can use loop. Exactly. I can use the loop. In previous case, it was make sense to club them into function, not loop, because it kind of a doing a similar thing and functionality. And here I'm just repeating, and uh, in a sense that it can it is repeating itself like a loop, right? Yeah, yeah. So I can just write a declare a loop, right? For you know, I was thinking about the sorry, loop. sorry. Then you want to put this loop in a function and call the function. Let's see. I declare the loop first. Okay. So how should how should I write the loop? I equal. How many ways you can uh, declare a loop? Different way. For, for while, while for uh, each. Uh, um, uh, which is the most uh, convenient for you one? Uh, is it uh, for? Okay, let's do the for one. Okay. So for what? I Let uh, switch. I okay. No switch is not a uh, loop. It's a condition. Okay. And uh, I, I less than less than uh, restaurant dot length. Restaurant dot length. length. Okay. And then uh, an incrementation. Okay. I plus, plus plus. And this is the one. And our objective to repeat this line, right? Let's copy the line first. Put it here inside. What is always change here in this all this line? The Only this number. See, yeah. this is number is changing, right? So I can replace this number with uh, I. I. I, right? Yeah. And then remove all of them, right? And it's not working. Why? Yeah, because you because you are not declaring this. Uh, um, execute any code. You know, you just you wrote the function, and now you want to call the function, no? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it function always. Uh, loop always executes. Yeah. Let's see what we made mistake here. Six right. Uh, one second. Yeah. Um, uh, could you go to the arrays up, please? Okay, I got. It. So let's see here if it's uh, you know coming here inside. Okay. You have to write alert or something. Yeah, I think I'm not that fan of doing a lot here. So see? No, no, you, you can't see it. We, we, can't, we are not coming here. Yeah. And why is that? We can't. Uh, see. Uh, I don't know, but you have to get information Something's wrong from with, here. Something wrong with here. Something's wrong with the for statement. Can anyone yeah. see what's wrong with the for statement? I equals, you haven't defined that. Yes, I haven't defined what should, I, what should I start from, right? It's not actually coming inside. So it's stuttering and then see here and then it's changing, right? Yeah. You guys are not helping me, not friend. Okay, <laughs> you think, see how many mistakes I made along the way. When does important Okay. So now, start looking good, yeah. Yeah. right? And Bader suggest something like, okay, if it's open, then show the uh, menu and order. If it's closed, then um, what? Hour. Then opening hour, right? Mm -hmm. So if you click here, for instance, then it should show the opening hour, right? Mm -hmm. the, uh, we already have the opening hour yeah. from where? Yeah. From. Well, I, I, I mean, um, they do the. Just uh, pop up an alert. Yes, pop up an alert. So I just want to should I should you, you want to give it a try? Just to show the uh, alert. No, yeah, I mean it's the easiest way because we don't have to make another HTML page or something. No, no, I'm saying uh, I want to give it to you now. So you want to do some experiment? Just to try if you can show the alert messages. Yes, we can. Yeah. Try. Okay. Yeah, you want to give it a try now? Yeah, I can. Okay, so let's do one thing. Uh, uh, also, we have uh, Oliver here. He can also help if you have in, uh, in, in a problem. So what should we do? I want to share this code to you first, right? 
if you want to do something, so you have to push it in the in GitHub, and you can clone, right? Yeah. And how to do, how to do it? Just go and Help me with the GitHub status. status, yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah, help restaurant, me. Restaurant, restaurant uh, mm, project. Restaurant. What, what did we do in this commit? What did we actually do? Yeah, that's the thing. Or the which one? What, all the work that we just did now, okay. this message is supposed Could to reflect um, all the work we just did. So what did we do? The first edition. No, HTML, uh, no, uh, edit HTML with the JavaScript. Yeah, but like, what did, what's the result? What did we, because we always edit the HTML with JavaScript. We're going to do that every time, maybe. But what's the result of the code we made? Let's see. Status. Uh, we got let's a bunch say, of restaurants on the page. We added restaurants yeah. to the page. Okay. Maybe. Let's say we implement. Implement it. Trend. Also, with JS status. Actually, the last time you you have done something that I forgot is you write something a code and it's sent to the new pages and you write other things. Yes, yes. Uh, you just uh, the, uh, do co git commit and hit enter. Git commit. And yeah. Hit enter. Okay. But for now, it's okay. Fine for for me. Okay. Git what? Git push push origin, origin master. Origin master. Uh, do I need to write the master? No, I mean uh, because then it's uh, it, it's a clone. It, my project here is saying master. Yeah. It will reflect connect to the master automatically if you don't mention it. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. I now I should be able to find my project here. Refresh. Sorry. It's here, right? And then how do I share this uh, link to you? I don't Setting. have a Slack. No. Slacks. So you guys go there and type it. I don't remember. I don't remember the first, the root of the. Here's the URL, right? GitHub. That your name. Can you just copy somehow thing in the Slack channel? Slash restaurant for. Says. Restaurant. Hold on. Maybe it's a restaurant. T A U. Ah, no restaurant. R E S T A U. So, uh, Oliver is uh, sharing the link in the Slack channel. So all you need, uh, go there, clone it. Clone it, and the task is: uh, we, uh, if it's um, if it's closed, then you click here, open hour. It should show the uh, pop-up message, uh, like alert message, showing the hour from the object. For Indian spicy, for instance, here in this code, uh, if we go to the restaurant two, it's open from 15 to 22. So somehow you say, okay, open from 15 to 22. That's it. Does that make sense? Other, you can do know. any. Uh, uh, let's say click it. I okay. Have, I have one more request. Yeah. Because we did a lot of. We have a lot of redundancy in the code. We did something twice where we are supposed to maybe only do it one place. So we, when we wrote this HTML, all these names, we put yeah. them directly in the HTML. Yeah. But now we have a list of objects with the names. So you can maybe take the name from the object and then put it here instead of doing it in the code. No, sorry, in the HTML. Do you understand? So. Yeah. Right now we're looping over all of these in the for loop, yeah. and then for everyone we're going to see. Oh, is it open? Yeah. Then we're it, then we're switching this with open. Okay. But could you also put the name? Could you take the name restaurant? Yeah, restaurant he's saying for instance. Put it here instead yeah, of I, I can just read. I can. Yeah. For instance, uh, here is everything is static. It's a pizza, right? Okay. So we want to delete this pizza. Okay. So, so then, basically, you want only to have this without the name. I think it will be a bit uh, time consuming. Uh, yeah. So just do stick to one thing. Uh, whenever you see it's closed, you should be able to click the open hour. This is, okay? Do you know how to. When you click it, like, click yes. Stuff.
So on click. Yeah. On click, pop up the Yeah, I can show maybe the gear. Yeah. Okay. For instance, okay, I'm just, uh, you know, again sharing with you something. Uh, yes, on, on click. So I'm doing it for you. You need to replace with your code, okay? Let's do this way. In different way you can achieve it, but I'm doing it in a very uh, easy way. So, which is closed now? Uh, the Indian spicy. Indian spicy here. I have to change the yeah, Indian spicy here. And how should I click here, right? Mm, so, yeah. I'm just on click, I'm calling a function, right? And it can just show uh, opening our opening. Hour, okay, so all you need is a new trick. So I'm just also helping you again. So you need to go to the JavaScript here. Uh, it's a function, and then here you can say um, alert and what message <laughs> open. From Open what rest for two, which is the one? This one, right? Restaurant. Restaurant ID. Restaurant um, one, right? Yeah. Dot open, right? Yeah. And then I can say also plus. Also, I need a plus sign here. And close, right? And what? Restaurant uh, one dot close. Yeah, one dot close. Close. Yes. Uh, refresh. Click here. See, it's coming, right? So your task is um, make it possible for all other close as well. Okay. And I have just a question. How we can get the information from, for example, the the prompt is open? And ask you what time is it? You will write uh, That's advanced. Do you want to do it now? You don't have to have that much time. What's it? You want to check with the time, uh, what time is now, and then check with this one. If you ask you what the time, you will write the time, then it will change all of you made, It's smarter to uh, read the time from the system, not have to enter the time. You don't have to enter, put the time as input. Okay. Okay. So, if I make it clear again, uh, on to. So, you can see this is closed, right? This restaurant is closed. Will be complex for them. Just thinking. I'm thinking, should I do it or? Yeah, <laughs> I, I want to see that if it's uh, closed, and, and then it should be saying uh, this this one, uh, oh. opening hour, and it's not saying opening hour. Yeah, you're no, much too. Like sh showing or not showing us. Okay. We can do it. Yeah. So I now. just did it. So you try again. Okay. Oh, what should I say? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. You can try. It. So if you click on this one, you should show the opening hour. That's it. If you click on this one, it should show this message. I did it, but you do try. You give it a try. It's not only shows it one. It always shows the pizza and restaurant. Yes, this is the one actually. Yeah. yeah, for everyone. Like if I click on Shushi, so it should work.
And so what you just did now is like come up with this HTML file. So now you only have the HTML, but you don't have To do? Where is it? See, it's a star here. It's fine. Show me the folder. For instance, here, it's closed, right? Yeah. If I click here, it's showing this message, right? Okay. I really wrote this code. Now, your task is for hot spices. Oh, it's, yeah. it's also closed and opening hour. If you click here, it should show the uh, opening hour for this one. What you should do? If you click here, yeah. what is it doing? It alert. I'm showing this one, right? Yeah. And you should do the same thing for this one. Oh, okay. Fine is closed and I'm opening up. Okay. Now this is your project space. You don't have any photos here. And that's why you can't see the photos. But you shouldn't, you should not copy it and put it on the first page. Do you know what you need to do instead? You should do the same as he did. Yeah, not forget, just grab it and clone it again. But you should first find out where do you, where do you want to You don't have to fork it, yeah. It doesn't matter. Don't put it just clone it. Clone it. Because then you're going to have to put it in SEO. Uh, it's in the Slack channel. There's a GitHub uh, link. Anyone need uh, help uh, to download the project? You need? No, 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 no. Yeah, you don't need. Anyone still don't know what is the assignment? What you should do? Great, so now you have everything. So in the HTML, HTML you need to define this line. Uh, on click, call the function. Then you can see all the files in Visual Studio. So if you, uh, you also need to write this line as well. Visual Studio and say open in this case file and then choose the folder. Okay. So one step back. Did you update the JS code? Sorry. Are you changing the JS? In both places. Okay. So in HTML, you need to call the function. Open just once. And, and in the JS file, you you need to just write the. Yeah. A large message. Now it's going to open GitHub folder and you can see that. All the files. Now you can now show it. And then if you open the index file now in your browser, you won't see all the folders. Do you understand the difference? It should work now. You managed to do it? Tom? Yes, I went back now. So if you go to Finder. Finder? Yeah, Finder is where you have all the files. So you just go back. This is so first you have to change again. all of the this is nice. all of the this is clickable. Yeah, so you just double click this and then you. It's always clickable. All Any element. Yeah. It's a uh, you know this does uh, if you click on something in the box and this element where you go and want the last you do this. This is not no, difficult enough for you. <laughs> I reiterate the task again. So. It doesn't start installing. 
you have to go to the element, uh, the HTML, click on open uh, this hour, and write this line. This function. In HTML file. Uh, open hour, this, uh, this deck. Do you see this one? Uh, just a moment. Sorry, this one. Sorry. It keeps Only for open hours. Yeah, right. Do you know? Remember what it's called? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I keep doing it, but it's only for open hours. Yeah, because you're not doing it. Then you know what I do. I do it, and then I go to the end. Right. You know, I do it. You need to copy this. What about like only for the storage? Only just one. Yes. Okay, guys, let me help you. We only changing for sushi, right? No, yes. Uh, let me help you again. Uh, look at here first. You all see this HTML file? Yeah. And look at the Indian spicy. And go to the open hour and just write this one. On click this one. Uh, quotation mark, show opening hour, function name, and close it. Do it first. What? Like write this line. I'm saying it was stuck. Okay. Just here. In just this, here. In this line, not anywhere. And, and acknowledge if you're done. And now. Done? No. Go to yeah. Indian Spicy. Line number, I think, is 73, and then find the open hour, and then just put this line. Did it? Why do you use this practice? Just do it. It's function. That's why. Okay, so this is the function that you're doing. It means if you click on that, it goes to JavaScript port and figure this one. It's line number 77. Yes, you did. Uh, can you? Uh, is buzzer also done? No. You done too? Yeah. I'm yes. Uh, anyone need help? I do. You do. Okay. So go to Indian spice here, right? And then open here. Yes. Which one? Which one? So right. Uh, so one click. So you need to do some click. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. It's, 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 you're fine. Can you also help me uh, write this line? Uh, so you have to do it. So you have to do it. So you have to do it. My user cannot copy and paste all. But you did write the code, right? Yeah. Uh, where is it? Uh, in the last message, on click, open up the name of the code. I'm sure you can do it. It's fine. But you're already in there. Where is it? 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 I think many of you managed to do write this line in HTML, right? Yeah. So next step, who uh, did this one? Go to the JavaScript file and create a function with the same name you spell it. Probably your probably your spelling is different than me. Mm -hmm. Just uh, cl uh, create a function and put the name here and write this line: alert something. 
it not to be open and closed, maybe you can write anything just to see if it's working for you. So copy the same name you write on, on click and, and create a function with that same name. No, no, it's not for no, it's yeah, for, for this one, it's, everything is showing the same, right? So how can you make this uh, more spicy, right? Uh, make it like, uh, what is the object? Yeah, what is the object? Yeah. How to do alter in one? Hmm? It should say, yeah. I think it's all the you have to do that? Okay, so it's the last one? Yeah, 18 to 22, right? And for your case, it's showing what? Oh, we have five as well. So how can you get the unit to do it right? Is it Who managed to click the link and at least able to show anything? Alert message. It didn't work. And you didn't? Who didn't? Yeah. I you did? You did? Yeah. And you did? So if you click the link, then it should show something for you. Yeah, it doesn't matter because now it's just alert should be anything. So here you can just go. Now we can do it. Okay. Different, you see? And then move this into a new type of thing. Isn't that not the case? Sorry? Isn't that not the case? It's okay, fine. I want to see if it's a click something and it's happening. Nothing coming, right? So uh, let's go to the okay. okay, we can we can we can buy it because uh, because if you click on it on the button, we show you both of the methods. So we have this one, this one. Okay. But that is making an idea. No, we are saying that. Why is this static? Okay. No, so you can share this one. So show you something. So show you the first method for this one. Okay, so you show you this one. So we don't have to do it. Don't do anything. He's not doing. Okay, the problem. Okay, you call the function on the bottom, okay? If you push it, and you push it, you can the mice is around this, okay? It's in S. So this was an example, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, at least everybody managed to show the uh, alert message, right? No, my no? alert doesn't show at all. But it's okay. It's not working for me. Not working for you. Okay guys, let's finish the project. I think it's taking a long time, so have a look here. Sorry? The security settings. Do they affect them as Yeah. Because I turned off my yeah. phone. Maybe, yes. Okay, guys, uh, we have only 15 minutes. I want your attention again. Just don't do it now, I think. Let's focus here again, okay? Can you just look at here? Okay. So, what I did here uh, for Indian Spicy. Guys, look at here. Are you looking? Yes. Also? Okay. I think I have a question for you. So let's, I want to make it for working for hot spicy. Okay. Because it also says opening hour, right? And it is closed. Right? And I should go where? Find the hot spicy first, right? And, and the last one. And, and, and. Uh, here, right? So, here, right? What should I write? Not one, on. On click. Equal. And the function. This way, and then function, right? And I already have the function, right? So always, it is always recommended you just copy. Even if you have some spelling mistake, then you will not reiterate this thing, okay? So copy and then put it here, right? And then a bracket, just single, uh, you know, parenthesis, not the curly braces and then writing, start writing function, okay? Just this one. So now if I refresh, I click here, I can see it's showing, yeah. giving the alert. The yes, if I click here, it's showing the same. Let's see the hot spicy opening hours is like, uh, it's like from, uh, 18 to 22, right? Yeah. But it's saying 17, right? So how can I make it change you? Right? How can I relate to that, uh, connect, connect to the right one? No, you should, yeah. You have to give them, for example, when it clicks, it goes first to go, for example, to the which restaurant did it click again? It will go yeah. to the opening time. So there are various ways you can sell, solve. So I'm just trying the little bit easier one for now. So I am Make again. Sure you do, you function. So here, so basically, as it is again, the, uh, we want to specify right which one, right? I need to send something in a parameter. So this is a function, right? If I tell, okay, uh, show the opening up for this one, then it will show. So which one is that? How can I identify which one I am trying? If, uh, the restaurant ID. ID, right? So restaurant ID here, this one. I think it makes a six, right? 
for now i'm not doing the restaurant because if the restaurant is then i need to search find lot of things i want to make it easier like a uh, array index so for a hot spicy what is the array index five five agree yeah. all so let me write five here okay so i can say here in the show message here i can say uh, restaurant index okay so if i just write here index replace one by index so it will receive and then you call one. you you call it by yeah. and it will show the fifth one and for the indian spicy if i go to indian spicy again where is it one uh, on top here right yeah so here i need to say pass what one one, yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. right yeah confusing but stick to it I am calling the index. That's why I also uh, refer it the index, rest index, not the restaurant ID. Okay. So refresh. It's giving the correct one, and it is also doing the correct one. A eighteen. I don't know. If you can see it from the, you know, backside, but it's showing eighteen, right? Is it okay? Yes. Could you go back to the to the code, please? Um, what? I didn't get the, the red index that you wrote. I, I told you, it's not, uh, I can write also restaurant number, right? Or restaurant ID. See, in that case, ID is two, right? No, no, no. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is uh, that name, red index. You yeah. just, uh, you just. Uh, it's a variable. It's just, uh, you know, variable. You can define anything. A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z. I, I just, you can also say uh, like this way. But I want to make it meaningful. What is I'm just you know referring. So it's restaurant every month. You can say index. Rest okay. index is the name of oh. the variable. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. Yeah, so or you can say index, for instance. Right? This way you can also do that. But it makes more sense the rest in restaurant index because it's the area called restaurants. Is it predefined? Does it pick it up by itself? No, we are passing it here, see. So here, this is the function, and we are passing a value here, okay. one, two, three, four. Whatever we pass in here, for instance, I can call it A B C. Okay. A B C. A B C. Okay. Mm -hmm. So A B C get replaced by the value I'm passing. Okay. So uh, for Indian is one, and for spicy is five because array index. So it will still work. See, so it's working. And we can change the value. We can see if it's working for us. For instance, it's open from from ten o'clock. See, it's ten here. Okay. Is it? Is it easier than this code? Is it? Because you have to give the number, for example, to the all of the function. Yeah. You can also replace this one with the. So replace it if you have time. Okay. So what we decided, if it's open, then if it's closed, it should show the uh, open link, right? Yeah. So the way we did for close, we can also replace this one, right? So how can I replace? First, let's say we take the Indian spicy, right? Which one? This one. We are trying to replacing the uh, menu, this link. If it's to make it dynamic, right? See here, for Thai, it's not showing the open restaurant. Oh, sorry, uh, opening hour. So how can I make it uh, uh, make the menu for opening hour if it's closed? This is closed, right? Yeah. So I want to show opening hour you menu add here. You the, the button. I add the button. I want to uh, make it dynamic. Like if it's open, it show it. If it's closed, it, it don't show it. If make it fun. So first, we need to identify this area, right? Yeah. How do I identify? I go to the uh, Thai Delicious. Maybe we can do it with the CSS Just add the, the button. Maybe we can do this in the homework as in the CSS classes. I, I need to refer all the code. So let's say, where are the uh, buttons, sir? The menu is here, right? In here, right? For instance, just to see it where we are in the right location. This is here, right? So assume that this is the button group, and button group is this one, right? So if I call it ID, you can do it at home with the classes. So I'm to replace the buttons, right? 
So I can say um, button what one for uh, no not one. This is one two three right for three right like status three. That makes sense. So I'm just uniquely identifying the this block, and as uh, Oliver mentioned, we can do it to the class. You also mentioned the class. So now we already build our program with the classes, right? And if I start doing the writing the, uh, the sorry ID, if I start doing the, the classes, then I need to refactor my code here, and we don't have that much time. So let's stick to the ID. So how can I uniquely identify? Come here, this place with ID, right? And what is the ID? So I need a name. I need a unique name. So I call it button. Just just to say it right and I'm giving number three because it is number three restaurant like also status three right so for instance number three so if I go to this one let's say if it open if it close so here right so we are showing the show restaurant uh, restaurant status right mm -hmm. so i want to see if it's closed then we should show start showing what opening hour, opening hour right so and uh, how can i come to uh, the logic the here element, no element. i'm here right else condition or if condition if it's open not here if it's closed then i should do something right mm -hmm. so i should read the element first what how, to, how can i read the element here Actually, with the uh, button, button three right yeah so I can write the same syntax, copy, paste, right? And what the ID is button, right? I should replace it button. Okay? Yes. And the status maybe for now is like a, a what? Opening hour, right? Oh, it's open now. Because what? No, that, that one is open, this one should be closed, yeah? Let's see if it's giving any error did in the console. Yeah, no, no. I did, maybe. Yeah. Let's see. So, inner HTML not uh, equal null, null. Yeah. So, basically, it's trying to read for the first one. For the first one and it can't find it's saying null so i cannot uh, find the element here so basically to make it work we need to give the same id to everyone that makes sense yeah, yeah because i am putting uh, this logic inside the function and function is iterating for everyone, for everyone. Mm -hmm. so it is trying to see for every restaurant this uh, id it exists button dot one button dot two button dot three but in the button dot one it's failing mm -hmm. because it can't find the element that's giving me alert so just to fix it quickly i need to uh, do the uh, uh, id for everything or i need to uh, uh, take the code out of the uh, this logic put it in a separate place so for now it's very easy to just put the id in every you know uh, places so red pizza here so what should i do button group right so button group is this one is one right pizza is one and then the second one is Spicy. here right it's two and this is already three three right and this is need to be button uh, group here is what four and where is it? Here, right? Sorry. And five. And here, right? And six. Refresh. It's gone. See? For this one, it's it's changed. If it's closed, see, look at what happened. If it's closed, it's just showing a plain text, right? Because our function is saying just replace with the text not the element right so now what you need to do we just need to copy the uh, HTML the button for uh, uh, opening hour and how do you copy it for instance copy the uh, this one button right why is the, um, uh, he gave me opening hour in a button he doesn't give me a text 
maybe you you didn't uh, you didn't write this way. Here I'm just writing a plain text. I didn't. Okay. Probably you you copied in different you know uh, and added the ID in different element, not mine uh, like mine. Okay. So here. See, it's showing the one, right? I just copy and then uh, replace the text with the element. So if I click here, it's showing 10 to 20. It's showing 10 to 20. It's showing 10 to 20. Why is showing 10 to 20 all the time? Because I replace with the static uh, one, right? This button, right? This button, for instance. And look at here. In this button, we are sending all time to uh, do for the fifth one. So how can I replace this one with the, with the you know, um, with the number? Yes, one, two, three, four. ID. Yes, ID, yes. Uh, how do I make it? Uh, I it replace. Yes, so now, see, this is a template. I don't know, you are familiar with this one. This uh, back tick, this one. This sign is like called template literal. So you can write the HTML code in the JavaScript with this signature, template literal, the small back tick. Okay, you can zoom it in the you know uh, video or something. So I'm writing HTML here, right? Just to replace the five here with the variable, I need to declare dollar sign curly braces. See the color has changed. You will not notice because you are Notepad uh, using Notepad. Okay. So it's color change. Now I can replace, right? And what is the ID? Dynamic one. How can I get it? I can get it from. I can get it from what? Restaurant, right? Restaurant ID. Yes. So restaurant. Sorry, restaurant. Dot what? Like this one. Restaurant ID. Restaurant ID. So if I refresh, fine. Refresh. See. It's now showing seven, uh, 17 to 22. Can you see that? And for this one, it's showing 12 to 22. And for the this one, what it should show? Okay. Um, 10. We oh, change to 10, right? Okay. See here. Oh, it's not working. Yes, why is it not working? Can anyone tell me why it's not working? See, it is working for this one, this one. And it is not working for this one. If you just remember, I told you in the beginning, it is now A, B, C, D. It was, I call it res index, right? So basically it was index. Now we are calling it what? Restaurant ID means one, two, three, four, not the index, right? Mm -hmm. Anymore. So we, don't so, have so we are passing one, we don't have the six, right? Yeah. It's only one, zero to five, mm -hmm. right? So now let's just show the opening hour, right? It should be, now we should call it restaurant ID, okay? And then, how do you access the restaurant object uh, array with ID? So now it's, it will come to one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Here, restaurant ID. Now you want to read there. If it's a five, then you want to read which one? Restaurant ID will be six here, right? It will be six. Yeah. And then you want to read what? Which one? Five one. So how do you read it? So you can just deduct one, right? Copy and replace the ABC because ABC doesn't exist, right? We just oh. replace it here. So deduct minus one. Deduct minus one. So if it's six, it will be five. If it's one, it will be zero, zero, right? But if it's zero, zero minus one, what? Minus one. Minus one. Every problem. Why you don't use the left? So, but also try to fix this one. So we can see here it's working now, right? But for if I if I have this one, pizza one is uh, closed, and let's say it's pizza one is closed, right? See here, it's let's close it. How to close it? Very easy. See, it's, it starts showing this one. It's all dynamic. Now it's. Showing 12, 20, yes. Yeah, it's true because there's no one uh, zero exists. ID always start from one. 
So 1 minus 1 is 0, right? Okay. So it should work. So see, our now application is almost ready. And one small uh, fix need to be done for open thing, right? So we did for closing, right? You can write here, when, when rest, restaurant is closed. Just to you know, see what is the logic you are writing, and when is open, right? Open. So for open, see, it's still showing the opening hour, but our idea is uh, menu and order, right? So in the beginning, we decided if it's open, we just don't show the opening hour because it's not needed. It's open, right? So we should show, instead of opening hour, we should show menu and order, like Brother mentioned. We should write order, right? So how do I change it? We already have the same logic, right? Copy and paste here. Same thing. And then replace the button with what? Menu and open, right? Why can I find this menu and order? Like this one. Menu and order. Here. Copy. Paste it. See, if it's open, then it's showing menu and order, right? Let's open the restaurant one and two. Uh, true and true. See, also has changed. Is it working? Yeah. When it's closed, it's here. No, I said when is open, then we, we, we show the uh, correct name, menu, menu and order, two links. And if it's closed, we should show only opening hour. That's it. So it's working accordingly. I think that's it for the project. You liked it or not? Yeah. Yeah. Can you, uh, you talked about the dollar sign and the bracket. Yeah. Can you give more example of that? Then we can use that code. Yes. So, yeah, dollar sign is always you can use. You should use here if it's at this one. I don't know if it's visible for you. So this sign. If you see this sign, right? Yes. So this is a template literal. So you can write a HTML in the JavaScript file. If you're writing this one and you want to have a dynamic value, right? Dynamic value, like it can read from one to the JavaScript or the object or anything. Then you need to assign it this way, dollar sign and this one and and this way. So dollar sign and, and the bracket, then it gives you the writing a way for JavaScript code. It's, it's every time you have a string and you want to put a variable within the string, Hmm. Then instead of using normal quotes, if you use these ones, okay. then you can put a variable in the string if you do it this way. Okay. With the dollar sign and the opening and these curly brackets. It's instead of doing... Okay. Well, um, what do you call this method? Because I can go and search and read. Uh, I don't know. So, uh, let's try. Yeah. What is the method? See, it's coming here. Template literal, okay. So also it called back ticks, back ticks. So description, if you read this one, it has all the example, how to uh, do the expression here. So if you, want, you need any expression, then you need to uh, uh, use this syntax, dollar sign, calibrates, and you write your expression. It could be a variable declaration, it could be a for loop, anything. So it's basically you can write your JavaScript code in that uh, bracket. And you can read here as well. Can you send the link? I can later, not now. Or you can uh, share or leave yeah. also.
So now we have two more minutes. Uh, we can talk quickly about the homework. So I, I didn't. I was planning to go to the your homework week two and week one, but I didn't manage time uh, to do it. But with that lesson today, you will be able to easily solve all the problem from one and two. Definitely, I have seen the one and two homework list, and it's easy. I have no idea what is three week three homework is, but give a try. It could be adventurous for you. Probably you will be able to solve everything. But I want to add one more on top of it. If you have uh, enough time, if you want to learn more. So what, what all you can do, you can improve this one. So as uh, you mentioned, uh, why we don't see with the real time. Why we should say open and close. It should be all based on time, right? So you should what you should do, you should remove this one, right? And based on the opening and closing time, you decide it's open or not closed. Yeah. So that's you the change addition. Change between the time of your computer. Yes. Yeah. So you should be able to read the time from the computer and then decide. Okay. So logic is there. Just give us the title of the things that we have to research about. It. Okay. So get time. May I ask you a okay. question? Uh, yes. So get time for what? JavaScript, right? Yeah. Always with JS and then get time. And it says that's a time, let's say. Okay. Time. So here you have tutorial W3 school, and it's giving you all the experiment. It can be you know all thing you can do. Out May of I it. ask you if you can share the, the, the link? I will do. Your, uh, Already is in the Slack channel, right? Huh? Already in the Slack channel. What do you want to share? Yeah, what share it on Slack. I mean, to Which? get the, the, the you know JS everything that you have done now. Oh, uh, done now. Okay. The changing with the with the. Push yes. It again. I just yes. want to have a look, you know. Yes. To correct. Uh, okay, let's make it. Then what should I do here? Push. Push only. Add first arm and then come into. How we should get it from here? You know, because you already cloned. So. Get pull. Get pull. Yes. So what is the message? Commit message here. Um, switching status open close. I don't know what you call it. I did a lot of stuff. Add dynamic opening. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I push my code, okay? It is it is now Git uh, repository. So all you need, yeah, if you, you cloned it, Git pull from or Git pull origin, it will pull from the origin, okay? Yes, and the homework, as I mentioned you. So week one and two, I'm pretty sure I covered everything in the in the uh, project itself. And three, I don't know. I haven't. I have no idea what is uh, the three homework look like. Uh, but I would say you just give it a try, and I will try to review your code uh, if you are submitting the homework. And on top of it, I added one more uh, additional uh, challenges for you. And brother, explain what it is. <laughs> yeah. But all I re I'm repeating for you. Everybody knows it, and you are not following that. <laughs> Then you can, uh, you know, say, uh, revisit the, you know, uh, the YouTube video, what I am saying. <laughs> so all you need to do, change the uh, status with the real time, okay? Yeah. And probably if you want to be more smart, so you can see the order, it, it nothing happens, right? Um, uh, at least menu. If you click on here, on the alert, it should say the message, the menu, right? Oh. So we have the menu here, uh, all kinds of pizza, uh, all this thing, right? So you also display the message in the alert box. Okay, then it look more, uh, you know, uh, realistic project. Yeah, like open up exactly. So you can do this way. Yeah. So when you run into trouble with week three exercise the homework, just write on Slack and I'll help you.